Hello everyone, Trooperhorn23 here, and today we're going to learn how to install the Fuel Script mod. So this plugin is actually called the Advanced Fuel Script, and what it does is it allows you to visit gas stations and fill up your car. It also gives you a little fuel meter in the bottom left corner of your screen to let you know how much fuel is in your car. So if you click the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page right here. And you can see if you click on the pictures here, um, this little bar right above the mini map, that is the amount of fuel. In the upper left, it tells you how much fuel is per liter. You will be able to change whether you're metric or imperial, depending on where you live in the world. Honk horn to refuel. Now, sadly, I just tested this and it does not work on police cars, but you do, you can refuel police cars, and I will show you how once we get in the game. So you're going to want to go ahead and hit this green download button and hit the second one that on this page. And once you get that downloaded, drag it out to your desktop like I have right here. It's going to have a weird name, 83C66 version 1.4. We can go ahead and open this, and we see it contains a fuel, advanced fuel, uh, dot DLL mod and settings dot INI and we also have a map here with the fuel locations we will be able to see this in game however the readme you don't have to worry about because that's why I'm making this video to show you exactly how to install it so once you open this zip folder here we can go ahead and navigate to our Grand Theft Auto main directory which mine is in my G drive remember it's your main directory is going to be the Grand Theft Auto 5 not dash copy or anything else Go on ahead and open your main directory. Now, you should already have scriptucv.net installed. You will need it for this modification. If not, a video will now be appearing in the top right corner. I did a video on how to install scriptucv.net and native UI. So, once you have scriptucv.net installed, you should have a scripts folder right here. Go ahead and open that. And mine only has the native UIs in it. But you want to drag and drop both the advanced fuel mod.dll and the settings.ini, both of these, into your scripts folder. Just like that, it's that simple, and you can go ahead and close out of this zip. Now we can go ahead and go into the configuration settings. Here's the key binding, zero will cut off your engine. Fuel car with jerry can is L, I leave all this the same. Vertical fuel, fuel bar, you can change this to true or false, depending on your preference units metric or I'm pretty sure Imperial would probably be I I'm just gonna leave that for now and you can change a whole bunch of other settings which I don't recommend changing so anyway once you're done configuring that you can go ahead and X out of that and save it if you modified it and we can go ahead and hop on in the game before we get in game guys don't forget that I do have a community discord where you can come in here and hang out with other people including myself that play LSPDFR and if you have any issues with LSPDFR or installing mods or not sure what to do, I also have help channels and a bunch of helpers on. I'm usually on all the time. So feel free to join the Discord. The link will be in the description. I also list my must-have mods if you're looking for any more mods to add to your LSPDFR. So once you're in-game, guys, you're going to notice down on my mini-map, I have a vertical bar of fuel, and it looks like I'm just under half a tank. And yours probably won't look like this. Mine looks like this because of my extended resolution monitor. Um, but if mine was horizontal, it would be out of the way. So the way this works, if you go to your map, we have these jerry cans on here. These are gas stations. And the little lightning bolt right here is um, like rechargeable stations for electric cars. So anyway, we're going to head to this gas station up here because it is closest. And... I just tested this with police cars and it didn't seem to work but all you're going to want to do is once you get up to the gas station all you have to do is beat your horn and it'll start filling up your tank and gas is quite cheap in this game I don't know if you can adjust that variable or what but it's like a dollar and something cents for a liter uh, the creator of the mod claims to have made it realistic uh, fuel consumption per engine I'm not sure how true that is because I'm driving right now and it doesn't even look like that fuel meter has budged but who knows maybe it does work maybe you can change that in the settings so anyway once you get up to a gas station all you want to do is pull up to it and we see in the upper left corner now 
It says petrol is $1.62 per liter, haunt corn to refuel. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it is working on this car. We see that meter is filling all the way up. If it doesn't work, there is should be a jerry can around here somewhere, but I'm not seeing one. Some gas stations have jerry cans which you can pick up and um, refill your car from there. And yep, so O on your keyboard is shutting off your engine. I would probably never use that, <laughs> but you know it's there if you want it. So that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep a future outlook for more videos. And the link will be in the description for my Discord, so feel free to join, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.